Hey y'all, it's me, Ms. Lizzie, currently live on twitch.tv forward slash, and today, we're playing more Pioneer, as expected. We got another janky pile. This deck is kind of my pet deck. Um, I haven't tried it in Pioneer until now, but uh, I played a deck very similar to it in Historic a while back, and I loved it. It was so much fun. So, uh, yeah, we're trying to port it to Pioneer, see if it works. Uh, the main thing that's worse is no Explore. Explore's really good, and you don't get to play it here, but we, we soldier on, anyway. So basically the idea is, you're playing one copy of Essica God of the Tree, Flash the Prismatic Bridge. You're going to put it on the battlefield with Bring to Light or Search for Glory. And then every turn this procs, you're going to hit one of these. And with a 100% chance of hitting a big kill you spell. Uh, because there's no other creatures or planeswalkers in the deck. Uh, so that's the idea. The way we go about doing it, we have some solid removal for the early game to keep us alive. We have ramp. Uh, Wolf of Haven is very meh. Um, it gets the job done, but I I really would love Explorer in this format. Growth Spiral, though, is really, really good. I love Growth Spiral. Four Cultivates to get there as well. Obviously, you just go three into five. You cast the Bring to Light. Uh, three Supreme Verdicts as both uh, just, like, really, really castable. Solid card to do. You can do it on turn three, whatever. Or you can Bring to Light X4 to find it. Also very good. And then we have some Drawn from Dreams to Find combo pieces. So the question here would be, why not Memory Deluge? And the uh, simple answer is, if you bring to light off Memory Deluge, you don't get to draw any cards. Because it says, Memory Deluge says, look at the top X, where X is the amount of mana spent to cast this spell. And with Bring to Light, you, cast, you spend zero mana to cast it, so you don't actually get to look at any cards. So Drawn from Dreams is the dig through time of choice. Um, it also sees seven cards on the front half, which is relevant, especially when you're playing only one copy of this magic card here. And then, yeah, you just get out the Prismatic Bridge, you put some Haymakers on the battlefield, and you hopefully kill your opponent. Uh, this is like a long saga of Ugin decks that I am trying to build because I think Ugin is incredibly broken. And I think a really good direction for Pioneer right now is to find the best Ugin deck. So I'm going to be trying that out with a bunch of different iterations. And uh, here's the first one that I'm pretty excited about. I want to see if this will work. I've played a bit of tournament practice with it. And I mean, the deck plays like it, it does. It does the thing and the, the thing is pretty sweet. Sideboard. We got some counter magics. Um, I figure blue-white control is going to be a pretty rough matchup, so we have some vetoes and some disputes to help there. Also one copy of Balagid Recovery to bring in against any deck that can remove the Prismatic Bridge. Because again, we only have one copy. Uh, so we need it to stick. But uh, the one of Balagid sort of pads that a little bit because we can search it up with Bring to Light or draw it naturally and then get our thing back. Uh, we have one of Dragon Lord Atarka. It's pretty castable in the deck. We're playing a lot of ramp, and we have uh, we have a mountain in here and a swamp, so we can cast Bolus and Atarka there. One Battle of Frost and Fire, which is a, essentially it's just a board wipe you can search for glory for. Um, so you know you bring in these guys against creature heavy matchups, mono red, uh, heroic, a sa red black sack, probably. You probably want one or one of these against red black midrange as well. And then two damping spheres to round things off for the Lotus Field matchup. Uh, and the green matchup. I, I like damping sphere against green. But yeah, that's the deck. Uh, let's uh, get into the game, see what we can do. On the draw for match number one. Interesting hand. I mean, I think it's capable. We're on the draw, we have we have colors. We have a verdict, we have a march. Uh we can ramp up to an Ugin. I'm, I'm gonna keep.
We don't have any ramp or bring to light, but we can get there. Thoughts is incoming? Eh, we'll be okay. Hollowed fountain untapped. Is this the greasy fang? I believe so. Alright, we can uh, two for one ourselves if need be. Isolated chapel. There's one you don't see every day. Uh oh. This is not Grease Fang. Well, could be, I guess. But uh, it's kind of seeming more like Esper Midrange or something, which is neat. That's definitely a deck I've tried to play in the past. Pretty fun. Drawn from Dreams, kind of cool. Uh, I think I'm just playing a tap land. There's no risk of getting Grease Fanged here if that is what they're playing. I don't even know that it is. And we will try to verdict them. Hope it's good. And if they do, don't do anything threatening, I will drown from dreams, try and find Bring to Light. Rafine post-combat. Nice. Ooh, uh, alright then. What's up? I'm just gonna do this now while they can't, uh, like, spell pierce me. Cause that, that would just be a bit of a disaster. The importance of ramp in this deck is uh, being able to cast your hits as you draw them. Unfortunately, his hand does not do that. Oh, they are Grease Fang. Oh, shoot. Damn. Tenacious Underdog. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I'm gonna verdict them and hope they don't have it. I could also verdict them after they do it, though? No, I die if I do that. Just gotta hope we, that they don't have it this turn. And, uh, yeah. Not on the table yet. Ooh, pop champ. Alright, let's play a drawn from dreams. Just instantly resolved. Alright, we will take Absence Cultivate. Yeah, they just have nothing. Alright, just don't drought this turn. Did they... Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the... It's fine. Oh. <laughs> That's just... Come on. <laughs> Wow. Alright. I mean, we have the verdict, so we're not dead. That's just tragic. <laughs> Why? Why? I uh, can't shock, unfortunately. Pretty sure their hand is land parhelion though, so kind of okay here.
Although they can, uh, they can hard cast next turn, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Alright, let's cast a Cultivate. And we can do fun things. Uh, it doesn't matter what we get here, particularly. Get Plain Swamp. Ooh, nice. We can uh, throw Spiral and Absence here. If we need to Absence, that is. Tapped? Oh. Uh, I probably would have hard cast there. But hey. Search for Glory is nice. It uh, gives... Has our life total a little bit. Alright, we're gonna bolus and uh, make them discard too, I think. There's two Parhelians. Yeah, they definitely should have played one there. Nice. Cool. Alright, got there. They they drew Grease Fang on the literal perfect turn. But it ended up being okay. Alright, we get to bring in Rest in Peace here. That's pretty good. I'm not huge on... Some of these hits. I kind of don't mind a Tarka. I like that more than Ulamog. Yeah, I think Ulamog is just a big, a big dumb idiot here. They might be on like Wandering Emperor as well, which would just be no fun. Hmm, what am I cutting here? I think we could just shave some things. I think we just shave a couple cards. Being that we're on the draw, and we have a pretty good hate piece. Hmm, we have a rip, but uh, Solo Forest is not going to do the job. It's Mulligan. This hand's pretty bad. Could five be better than this? Yeah, definitely. But if we draw a white card, we do have March for Grease Fang. I'm going to five. And like any hand with a cultivate or a rest in peace in it is just better than this. This hand sucks. Uh, but anyway. Hmm. I don't hate putting having Essica in hand. Although we do get yeah, alright, alright. We do get thoughts used and cry about it. That happens. That's a fine draw. They have no second land, huh? Alright. Certainly don't mind that. Okay. Opponent! Was a little bit salty. They were... 
understand some things in the chat. I will take it. Okie doke. Match 2 on the play. Let's see what we are working with. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, that sounds good. One land and we are off to the races. We are playing 26. I believe in the heart of the cards. This is a this is a, an ideal turn four. Planes. Favorite hoplite. God damn. That's actually okay. That's not a land. Don't do this to me, please. This needs to be in the top two cards here. We have this deck's worst nightmare. And that's Ugin. Ugin is like stone cold unbeatable against them. We just have to get there. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Woo! Cracked. Alright. We will get... Plains Swamp. We have to survive this turn and next turn. It is not impossible. That's, that's a pretty good turn. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> I think we're dead. Pretty sure. Nice, that sounds fun. Oh yeah. Oh, we're taking lost damage. We need a verdict. We need a verdict. Right, meow. That's kind of how I'm feeling these past few days. Been better, been worse. Very medium. Gotta miss all the MTG events. No! I'm also missing all the MTG events. Alright, verdict off the top, and we're still in this. Otherwise, we are dead. Okay. Next game. Uh, yeah, we just did not have the tools there to fend off against that. We will bring in Atarka, we will cut Ulamog, and we will hope to god we draw a Supreme Verdict. Yeah, we had this turn 4 there, but that's just like... ...a bad matchup to have no interaction against. I don't think we can keep this hand. Yeah, no, we we need we need other things. This is much much better. We will put back reading pool. Don't want to take any damage from my lands if I can help it. Actually, putting back gross power was probably correct there. That's all right. I'm probably going to take the turn off here. Coma. Alright, I'm going to Fateful Absence. If that's the first thing they're doing this turn, I'm going to Absence. Nice. Sniped their land drop. Amazing. That's a really good draw. just draw a land land that would be amazing there's one moment of truth damn it all right that's fine cultivates pretty good this lets us coma 
Uh, we'll get Swamp. Island? Yeah, I think we need Island. I think Coma against a single land will probably be enough. Let's go. <laughs> I miss my land drop. You must miss your land drops. Well, I guess I didn't, technically. Nice. Alright, let's put a let's put a big dumb snake on the battlefield. Should be okay. Rawr. Nice. <laughs> Seven lands versus one land. Not hard to do the math there. Alright, yeah, same thing again. If we verdict, we win. If we don't verdict, we probably don't win. Easy keep. This is like the ideal hand. Mulligan too. Amazing. Fantastic. Maybe no one drop here. What do you think? Swift Spear's fine. Swift Spear's a lot better than uh, Oblate for me. I could draw a growth sprawl here, that would be awesome. Um I'm gonna play that I think. Mm, we could just exile the Swiss spear here though. That's probably better. We'll do it in response to something. Hopefully they play an anger something. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Also, if they have, uh, God's Willing here, they have to give Pro White, which fizzles the Defiant Strike, so... I still do get to do the whole Dreadhorde Arcanist thing, but it's, it's fine. They have no third land. Nice. BTL is excellent. Yeah, okay. I'm a fan of the things that are happening here. Big fan. Hopefully they commit another creature. Yes, maybe they commit multiple creatures. Looking quite winnable, yes. They can have that thing that gives... Oh, if they have the indestructible card, that's a problem. But I don't think we'll die. There's that card that gives... It like gives a, a human indestructible and a non-human indestructible. Which would be quite tragic. Oh, fuck. They have it. Oh, god. Yeah, damn. That's tough. Alright, alright. Ah, uh, now oh, that sucks. Oh, come on, <laughs> that's that's so good. Okay, maybe it's just a very creature full draw. Oh, it's a very creature full draw. Okay, we just bring to life for verdict, and we're good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and we have the fourth color here, which is Pog. Decides not to cast it. Interesting. And then we have drawn from dreams to find whatever else. Alright, we don't even have to take damage. Goodbye, everything. They just conceded. There's probably still a game to be played there, but hell yeah, we're 2-0. 
Ow! What did I do to deserve this? I'm winning at magic and you hit me in the head with a wooden baton. Okay, on the play against Ronald Gagne, I know this guy. Hell of a limited player. Currently 3-0. So we'll see if we can take him down a peg. This hand looks awesome. The Essica in this hand is maybe a little awkward. Fanatical Firebrand. Now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Um... I think it's better to grow Spiral here. Looks like it's gonna be another red aggressive deck. Is this like Cavalcade of Calamity or something? Eidolon. Alright. Spiral in response. BTL. Yeah, BTL's fine. Gets us a verdict. March. I'm gonna cast Drawn here. I think we take Swamp Trium. Yeah, Swamp Trium seems okay. It's gonna be a minute until we can cast this Essica, but we have we have things to help out. Hopefully they have a creature full draw, not a Chandra. Oh, Annex. That's interesting. It might be, uh... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna X all the Annex here. Now, we'll do it in Begin Combat, so they can't play another one and also can't Ember Cleave me. I'm sure that's what they're trying to do. No. May not. Can't ever cleave this turn. Please have another creature that's not Annex. Nice. Alright. Pog. Extremely pog. Uh, we could play the Wolf Willow here and take two. I think it's fine. Take two to potentially Ugin next turn. Hmm, they have this Den happening though. Maybe not. I don't know, that's close. Yeah, the den definitely hurts. Alright. That's plenty of colors. Okay, yep. This is tough. We might be dying here. Don't know how much, like, burn they'll be playing. I, like, we're, we're dead to a play with fire here. And we're coming to one. Yeah, this is, this is rough. Indeed. All right. Happens. We got we got mono redded. 
The end of the bugbear is a messed up magic card. Um. Yep, give me a Tarka. Do I want the battle here? Probably, right? Yeah, I think so. We could cut Bolus. I don't. I'm not. Th not crazy about him. Ugh. This hand sucks. We have both Ugans in hand. Yeah, no, we have to Mulligan. Uh, this hand looks. This hand looks great. Ooh. Uh, no interaction, but we do have a turn four. It's actually, uh, kind of late. It's all right. We'll draw something off the top. They have no one drop either. There we go. That's that's something off the top right there. I mean, kind of. <laughs> Actually, doesn't really help us very much. Hi, Dolan. Burning tree. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god, do they have it? Okay, it's just a stomp. I mean, that's still trouble, but at least they didn't have the bushwhacker. Holy. We're still in trouble, though. It's a lot of damage. I thought they had a slow start. I could not have been more wrong. Uh, what do we need to grab here? Island for sure. And swamp? Yeah, swamp works. Play breeding pool top. Breeding pool topped. Yeesh. It's not even good. Not even good enough. They get a billion satyrs and then they just ember with me. Yeah, I'm just super dead. Eh, bad beats. Yeah, that's just, I mean, like, three burning trees is just insane. So, what are you gonna do? Match number four. On the draw. Mm, this is very suspect. I don't think so. No growth spiral. Ugh. Yes. We draw like Spar's headquarters. We're good. All right. Mono green with an Oath of Nissa turn one. This seems like it might be okay. Oh god. I think I'm conceding to Karn here. Yeah, I like. What are you gonna do? It's just complete garbage fire from start to finish. <laughs> oh wow, we were not getting there. 26 lands, by the way. Yeesh. All right. Well, currently built this deck with uh, mono green in mind, so. Uh, we might be able to do some things here. I think I want Damping Sphere. Am I being correct? 
Uh, we definitely want this. I think that's fine. If we... We get Beseju, it's a bit sad, but we can also just, like, ramp these things out. I like Bolus. We're on the play, I don't want to cut any two mana stuff. Let's just cut a search for glory. Yeah, alright. That's a good hand. Put back the Wolf, Wailo wolf Willow. Opponent is in the tank. They're really thinking about it. Alright, they kept. I uh, will put back the Wolfalo. Don't know what you had to tank about. Pretty sure if you have a turn one elf, you just keep. Unless they have like one land or something. Maybe they play, uh, Karyatid. Some more elves. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely gonna... Verdict this hand- this, uh, board away. Hopefully find, uh... That magic card called... Bring to late. Ah, I see. Didn't know. I get you. Alright, the Jet Mirrors gives us a uh, hard cast mana. Which is just fine. Yeah, I really don't understand why it took them so long to keep this hand. Seems insane. Oh god. I think I'm supposed to cycle, but if I cycle into Esco, I'm gonna be very sad. Er. Alright, they must have been shy on lands, and that's why they hesitated. They missed on lands. Oh, and then they drew it off Kiora. Neat. I think I just hold off and try and wipe the board next turn. And draw Ugin.
There's Karn. Yeesh. Can they GPS here? Yeah, they can. Not that bad though. I have plenty of lands. Treasure Vaults? What? Oh, Hydra. Oh, okay. Yeah, this makes my verdict look pretty good. Growth troll? Really? There's no way that's correct. You just get the storm, right? <laughs> like. Eh. I mean, I don't often expect the green player to make the best plays. The, the deck requires very few decisions. Their decisions often don't matter either. That's the other thing. Alright, let's just uh, see what we were drawing and then concede. Got variants pretty hard out of that one. I mean, we drew no lands game one and all lands game two. What are you gonna do? On to the next. Alright, final match on the draw. Sure. You're in, huh? I guess. Oh, it's jank. Thank God. It's super jank. Even better. Rough. Gonna go ahead and say we probably have this one. Fable. Alright. There's some Fires deck, I think. Maybe they're like a Luka deck that puts Agents of Treachery on the board or something. That would actually be really tough. Well, Leafs planes up. In case I'm scared of Luka. 
I think maybe I am. Hopefully they don't have a way of killing that. Whoa. <laughs> okay. This is just Boros awesomeness. One hundred percent chance of Bruna, by the way. I'm gonna exile the shaman. Yeah. Then we go something off this and play Coma. They have a march. Sure. Alright. Well, now we just play Coma with the Exile. Panion Lancers. Alright. One more time. Search for Glory is pretty cool, too. Neat. El Drowsy Displacer. Ooh. Like what's happening here. They don't have a colorless source ATM though. Alright, we're gonna oogan boogan here. Wing. Popper deck made Pioneer? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't know. Tap their things. Uh, the Displacer gets to stick around, which is neat. Being that it is colorless. That's probably okay. That's probably not a very big deal. Alright. Got game one. This is exactly the kind of matchup I want. Something that's like cool. Uh, but not too fast. And it is very cool. I enjoy what I'm seeing. I think we want battle here. I cut Ulamog a lot, but I mean he probably just shouldn't be in the deck, honestly. I don't know. Yeah, he probably just shouldn't be in there. I don't know, we should just play this main board or something. Yeah, I think we just rock and roll. Maybe we want Vito, I'm not sure at the moment. I think Bolus is sick, Ugin's obviously very good. Sure. I don't know why we can't just draw three lands in our opener. Why it's always got to be this gamble. But uh, the odds are in our favor. Very good, very good.
That resolves. We'll get Swamp Mountain. Yep. Ah. Well, that makes sense. Hoping they play another creature here. Oh, wait, they can't. That's right. <laughs> Alright, I am simply going to Verdict. I think? Maybe I don't. No, I, I don't need to. I have March. I'm gonna do it on their end step so that they're limited and I'm not. Aran. That was unexpected. Yeah, sure. Aran grabbing, huh? Meteor golem or something? Pharaoh's statue. Karn is rude. I don't like Karn. Not make me happy. And no land also does not make me happy. I can bring to light, but they're just gonna get Meteor Golem and kill my thing. I think I'm better off just... Ron from Dreamsing. Then they're gonna GPS me. Odd Karn is such a dumb magic card. Why does it exist? Hmm. I think that's still correct. I could find like land cultivate here. Success. Home is good, but we are way off casting it. getting here. Polos. Sure. Alright. So, we get to do the thing. See if it's good enough. Cast with seven colors, of course. Hopefully they don't just have the, uh... The dumb thing. March. Okay, in they come. Sure. Ants for glory, what the hell am I playing against? Okay. That's, that's just weird. 
That's just weird. Alright, I definitely do want Vito, after all. Uh, two verdicts, I think, is good enough. You just bring to light for it. I mean, we literally lost that game to Karn and Karn alone. It was bad. Nope. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's really good. I just put back Growth Spiral? I think that's fine. Because we just go Cultivate on 3. Yeah. Alright. Got to keep my March. Through the swamp, interesting. We'll get uh, Island Plains, I guess. Hope they don't have the march. That if they do. Or an Archon. Eh. That's fine. Alright, don't have it, please. No have. I'll be terribly sad if you have it. Discard two cards. Maybe they're digging. They need three white cards here. Er, no, two with the treasure. I mean, just one with the treasure. Another knight. Pretty sick. <laughs> Knight's really good against me. Okay. This makes sense. Alright, can we get Ugin off the top? That would be sick. The grips. Oma. Oma's good. My Vito's also good. Let's grab Ugin and a march. Um, 
thinking I tap the Nykthos in their upkeep. That feels good to me. They're gonna try and chance for glory me, I think. And it ain't gonna work. Down to five, though. Hopefully they don't have two. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do it. Oh, Archon. Yeah, that's also fine. Sure. Alright. Ugin makes light work of this board. Olus. Pretty swell. Shit. Fucking Archon. No! Oh, you're joking! The fucking Archon! I'm so stupid. I could've just played Forest. I think maybe we're not dead. I think maybe we're not dead. Oh, man. Uro for land? I don't think uh, Uro is allowed. Damn it, all we had does. I think we lose now. <laughs> Como is Uro. <laughs> that would be something. What does this do exactly? Return it tapped. It. Yeah, we're fucking dead. I'm so bad at the game. So bad at this game. God damn it. Fuck. Ah, oh, that's such a tilt. That's so tilting. Yeah, I mean, we're super dead. Fuck. I'm gonna reveal my hand to them. Oh, I can't. Uh -huh. I should have won that 100% of the time. Fuck. Uh -huh. Why am I so bad? I'm gonna cry about that one later. Anyway. I'm gonna treat that one as a 3 2, because. Any other pilot would have 3 2 there. <laughs> uh, that's so tilting. We also had a 50% chance to hit the other Ugin off the bridge, so we just got like. This is like the worst turn of my life. Fucking. Ah, alright, alright, whatever, whatever. Yeah, Delk deck felt pretty good. I don't think Ulamog should be in here. Um, I was so excited that we started 2-0, and then, of course, 2-3'd after all that. But again, really, really should have been a 3-2. Uh, you can roast me in the comments there about that one. I will un be very understanding. But yeah, mana base was pretty sick. Uh, we never had mana problems except the games where we just, like, did not draw lands, which... That's magic, I guess. Um... Yeah, Ulamog should not be in the deck. There was definitely a few times when playing a turn 5 do-nothing was not good enough. 
Um, so I'm wondering if there should be another branch light target in here that is like even better, like a death sweep in the board or whatever. Or is just like a little more proactive. Um, yeah. I don't know. I wish we had Explore. Wolf of Haven is a garbage card and I hate it. Oops. Um, sideboard was a bit meh. There's a lot of cards we just didn't bring in, but I don't know. It, se it seemed okay. Yeah, that that's a sad one. Anyway, let's open this, uh, let's open our one treasure chest from our last league. And then, uh, we'll call it there. Let's see. One chest to rule them all. I got excited for a second. This is terrible. One of Blood and Iron. Who has ever heard of this card? That is, like, literally the worst card I've ever seen. Alright. Thanks, YouTube folks, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.